all of this work that you're doing to compromise is a waste of time. Surah Al-Ala says, وَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ الْيَهُودَ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعْ مِنْ لَتَى In Surah 2 verse 120, Surah Bakr verse 120, Surah Al-Ala says, the Jews and Christians will never, وَلَن تَرْضَى They will never be pleased with you. Until you follow their own deen, their own way of life, their own billah. Until you follow their religion, their way of life. Until you accept their belief. And then, until you give up their tawheed. You stop saying only Allah is the legislator. And you say, yes, indeed, the MPs are legislators. Until you say, you stop saying that Allah. Is the... Okay. And the same thing if we look to uh, the rulers nowadays. No single video of the Islamic State killing any children. No single video of them harming the women and children or burning their churches. Nothing like this. Right? But, and yet people that will call the Islamic State every single name and accusation they can think of that, you know, without proof that they refuse to use against Bashar al-Assad or Israel or all those others which they know are committing those, those, those very crimes that they accuse those of. They hardly eat anything except, you know, for months. And the Islamic State are the only ones who bought the food for free. What about all those billions in Saudi Arabia? Where are all the billions? And I don't mean dark like the brothers, you know, like all those Mujahideen from uh, Africa. I'm not talking about that. Okay? And praising you, and they're calling you. You are the real representative, you're the ideal Muslim. Question, is what you're doing correct? Have you compromised somewhere? Because Allah told us the Kufar are not going to be pleased with you until you change your deen. Allah told us that if you obey them, they will turn you back from your deen if they can. So always, you will always find at some point in your life, some stage in your life, that you will be put in a position where you will be tempted by the Kufar in this way. To do something that will anger Allah in order to please them. And they will maybe make big promises to you to be close to you, to give you something. Those promises is not called seeking the Masraha. It's not called seeking the less of the two evils. That's called al mudahana compromising, and is what will destroy you and nullify all of your deeds. Okay? And you will be the one who is lost. And you will be that person on the Day of Judgment, which, which Allah will punish you, and you'll be wishing and condemning and distancing yourself from those people you try to please in this dunya. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala